Hugh Deverly is a design strategist in California, um, was on the original development team for Apple Computer, uh, then went to Netscape AOL as vice president, and now runs his own office. And he published an article fairly recently in Interactions in which he talks about the need for this paradigm shift in design. And he says that the mechanical kind of object ethos um, is, is what we traditionally have trained designers to do, to make things. So if you are a designer of furniture, you could work uh, your way all the way through a company and through the prototyping and testing to produce a very nice chair. But if you wanted to do another kind of uh, piece of furniture, you would go back and go through that process again. Every time you do it, it's back through this mechanical process. And the end state um, here is, you know, you're trying to get things that are almost perfect. You're trying to get the best design you can get because there's so much invested at the front end that it's very difficult to, um, to start it again if there's an error. And he says what we've come to is um, a new system that's really based on the language of biology. It's organic. And that um, things are constantly kind of uh, in a state of evolving as opposed to going through this mechanical system. So if Amazon.com starts out with a website and is collecting data through that website, and it discovers that um, you want some other kind of information. Amazon.com can make that shift because what it's got is a platform that can actually evolve as opposed to a, a manufacturing company that has to kind of retool and rethink everything. And so the end state for something, in this case the stopping condition, is good enough for now because we're going to come back and things are going to change. And this is important um, in terms of how we educate designers. If we're all about this refinement of this beautiful object, um, and then we have to start that process over again, uh, we probably don't have a very sustainable economic model. And so this is a real shift um, that we have to start thinking about what are the methods for this, and what is the training that we want to put somebody through to do this.